Anyway, so hello again, and E3 just happened. That was interesting. Um, there are some games that are really, really interesting. Um, the game I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm gonna mess up the name, so I'm sorry. I don't have it in front of me right now. It was the game that I saw for the PS4 conference that where you like. It's procedurally generated. You can fly to other planets and things like that. You know, I think it's called like No Sky or something like that. But um, that was pretty interesting, just in terms of something that was new. Um, Sunset uh, Overdrive was really, really neat to look at. It's like a jet set radio with guns and zombies type of deal. So it was neat to see a little bit of of uh, new IP and innovation, and I think less shooters or. Even though I mentioned two games that have shooter mechanics in them, but it was still interesting to see some other things that were in there too. So that kind of leads me to the topic that I want to talk about a little bit, which is just change. Change is this thing where it's very, very hard to do that because there's something in us that just wants to even if it's not working, it just wants to keep on doing it because it's safe, but at the same time, you can fail at being safe, so why really do it that way? So, you can fail either one, being risky or, or safe, so you might as well go to the thing that you actually enjoy doing, which is, you know, creating what you want to do and everything. But, you know, change anyway is just an interesting idea. Uh, to begin with, and something that I think that as a developer in the indie scene at least, we get the privilege of doing. So that's the cool thing about being an indie dev is that you get to actually change things and potentially and set your own pace because the risk is not so high as to where you know it needs to make this kind of money or whatever you know. It's not that kind of risk. It's more about you wanting to make the game that you want to make and it may end up changing a lot of what the industry is about i mean even with um the indie scene in general it just has changed the face of gaming completely i mean who would have ever thought that some indie projects would actually be featured at e3 in a major sony conference or an xbox one to the point where it's part of the system console's launch and everything else, you know, to have indie stuff there. And change just does all these interesting things. And uh, I encourage anyone that if you want to change, then change some things about your lifestyle. You have to change your lifestyle in order to change. So change is a good thing. And, I mean, probably a good example of that in terms of gaming would be Wind Waker. They're like, oh, you changed it. You look so cartoony and everything. You want a realistic link. But Wind Waker has been one of the games that was, has withstood the test of time better than a lot of the other Zelda games. So, you know, they changed some things. But, you know, in, in the long run, it ended up being something that was... that had a longer appeal because it's kind of like this this... this <laughs> this weird thing of, hey, let me go ahead and try to stay the same so I can stand out doesn't really work logically or any way type of way you want to think about it so that's a character one change is a good thing change your lifestyle if you want to change and do something different be bold be smart about it but do something different because who would have ever thought that with all these changes that we've seen in gaming is really because of the change in the scene with the indie devs I think that we've innovated a lot in terms of what and communicating what gamers actually want so you know Change is a good thing. You should try it sometime. So, this is Justin signing out.